Alright guys, so I wasn't actually going to do a video today, but um, I gotta, I'm going to go, it's a nice evening, it's 6.30 and 68 degrees, and um, I think I'm going to go give all the mowers a bath and get blade sharpened, so I figured why not show you guys how I get all the mowers clean um, as infrequently as I clean them, they might get cleaned like once a month. <laughs> Um, it's just, I don't know. I need to keep them cleaner than I do, really. But, uh, and get blades sharpened. Blades and deck scraping does get done at least twice a week. Uh, but as far as washing the actual mowers, that's very infrequent. But, um, so, heading to the shop now. Uh, gonna go spend the rest of the evening there getting ready for the week. Got my mulch done. Um, I was gonna take a nap, but... It was 4.45 by the time I got done, so if I did that, I wouldn't sleep tonight. But, uh, head to the shop and go get all that. I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but isn't God's creation just, like, the greatest thing ever? Like... The sky is just absolutely gorgeous, and we're call it we're getting some rain showers this evening, supposedly. But I mean, just the creation and the way the sky looks right now is just absolutely stunning. I know the sun is kind of washing the camera out, but it's truly awesome. So let's get to the shop and get this stuff done. Hey Randy, since you always give me a hard time on Facebook about the drinks I drink, this one's for you. The best impact that money can buy. The Milwaukee High Torque. Fuel. share with you guys um, actually let me go grab um, another blade and I will show you because there's something special about these right. so I have here this is the factory skag high lift blade this one you can see the difference um, these are actually Toro blades and um, they have a slightly shorter tail on them but it provides about the same amount of lift but if you look end to end on them sort of kind of look right in here you can see the Toro blade is actually a thicker blade than the Skag is and I've found the Toro blades even though they have this shorter lift or uh, this shorter lift throw these actually cut and discharge a lot better than the Skag factory blades. And they're the same size, same center hole and everything. Uh, so I've been running these. I ran these last year. They're a little bit thicker. Um, and they cut fantastic. And I've had much better luck out of these in wet conditions than I have with these Skag blades. I don't know if they discharge better because these have a shorter throw. It's not as much air resistance when it's spinning even though they are a thicker blade. But... The thicker blade is super nice to have, so just something. Um, I know the 48 and 52 inch blades correspond. Obviously the 60 aren't because Toros are 60, Skag is 61. So just something I wanted to share a tip with you guys about these.
got a chill, so that's all scraped out. The blades are off. That's actually not that much under there as compared to normal. Uh, the last time I scraped it, I think, was either Tuesday night or Wednesday. But I'm um, going to show you guys the blade sharpener. We've just got the... Uh, you can kind of read it. It's the All-American Sharpener. Right there. This is the model 5005. It's got the adjustable angles uh, from 15 to 45 degrees. Uh, I've noticed these Toro blades come from the factory right at 30 degrees. Uh, the Skag blades, well, these are actually a set of Skag blades, these come at 30 to 35 depending on who makes them. Uh, there's a couple different manufacturers. The Kubota blades come at 35 degrees, um, so it all varies back and forth, but I went this route over the RVG mainly just for price. This is about 200 bucks, uh, and it works awesome. And then I've got the Oregon blade balancer, magnetic blade balancer here. I normally balance blades. Uh, once every three or four sharpens, probably every other week, because um, I can normally just kind of take off the same amount pretty well on either side, but um, I still like to make sure they're balanced every so often. But I'll get you guys set up, get these blades sharpened, get them back on the mower, get this one out, get the Kubota in here, and do the same thing. American does super well super happy with it you can kind of see here the edge on the blade it puts down uh, it's a perfect 30 degree edge right there nice and sharp ready to cut some grass let's get these back on here get the Kubota in here get that one squared away and ready to go and then we'll should have enough daylight to get these things washed up they're in desperate need of the bath. Also guys, a tip for you, using anti-seize on your bolts um, makes it a lot easier and it helps keep them from being too difficult to come off. Obviously if you hit something they're going to tighten, but just any general anti-seize makes it a lot easier to change blades. I should probably clean these off and reapply them. I normally apply it once a year, uh, right at the beginning of the year, but I haven't done these yet. I'll probably do these later this week, but uh, let's get these put back on the mower and get this out of here. guys so blades are off of this that's all the deck scrapings out of the v-ride the deck is actually pretty clean there's a couple places it could be scraped but I don't think I'm gonna worry about it um, I do need to replace the grass flap cable because that's busted you can see the pedal up there is not moving I'll get that replaced once the blades are done and uh, get at least this ready for the week I'm um, really glad I have spare cables guys if you run grass flaps um, I know a lot of people talk about the cables going bad which is true they are gonna go bad 
uh, just from overtime usage and whatnot, but it doesn't hurt every so often to pull your cable off, squirt a bit of WD-40 down behind here, and just shake the cable up and down, flip it over, do it on this side as well, uh, and that helps lubricate it and keep it clean. Um, I'm pretty sure Zach has actually had the same brass slap on his mower for at least two years now, and I'm 90% sure it's the original cable. Um, but this is the original cable off of this one. This got me through last year. Uh, I'm, I mean, they're $25, $30. Not a huge issue. A lot of guys freak out about them, but I, I love the grass slaps. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't want to run a mower without a shoot blocker of some kind on it. That's just me. Um, I really like the pedal adapters or the pedal foot ones because you don't have to let go of the uh, the controls. So get these sharpened up. These blades are actually just about ready to change out. You can see they're kind of thinning out right in here on the lift, but these are kind of dull, but. The, I get about 50 hours out of a set of blades, and then I stick new ones on it. So get these sharpened up, get them back on, and get these mowers cleaned up. So the disc I'm using on this grinder um, is a four and a half inch 40 grit Diablo Steel Demon. That's uh, the flap disc. Uh, you want to use a really uh, low grit, low by being the number lower the number. Um, it's actually a coarser sandpaper. Uh, the coarser you go, the faster and better of an edge you're going to get. I found. Uh, we were using these. I think this is a 60 grit. Uh, made by the same company. This one looks a little different because it's the toolless. That's just what was in stock. Um, but these are sharp. Nice and sharp. Good. Good edges on them. Uh, like I said, these are due for replacement soon. But let's throw these back on the mower and keep on going.
All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. I still got. I forgot to power wash the deck plate and the other cover, but some of the stickers came off of the Kubota, the ones here on the deck, the two Kubota stickers there on the side, and then the one back there, not a huge deal. Both of these are washed, I just hit them with mower or with water, no soap. So I'm going to finish washing these, probably just blow the seat off of that one and pull them in the shop and let them air dry um, overnight and I'll load them up in the morning before I leave. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Something a little different, uh, getting the maintenance done. Not the most interesting stuff in the world, but figured I'd video it for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you go rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to hurry up and go home and change because I'm soaking wet.